Wow, dude. Don't you think BTS is so overrated? They they're a little bit overrated, to be honest, man. I just yeah, I agree. Like, man. Yeah, I'm just I, such a hater. I just yeah, I just hate them I'm so just much. A big hater, yeah. And I like mm. I've never seen any of their stuff, but you yeah. know what? I'm gonna judge from the outside because yeah. I'm a I'm an internet person that doesn't like <laughs> cool things. <laughs> And I'm flex, you know what I'm saying? The waves. <laughs> Guys, welcome to BTS is overrated. Um, then what's this? Oof. Guys, you know, this is some heat. Like people saying they're overrated. I think they're a little overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Who even are you if you're a hater, bro? You know what? I think people think are Discord is overrated, and for that, I think you should just go to the description and join it, and you'll see that it is anything but that, guys. There's so much. Should we, like, two-second intro of the video? That's plug the Discord, am I right? <laughs> but on that fast. note, guys, we also stream on Twitch, so uh, www.twitch.tv slash Flex and Waves, guys, go check it out. Yeah. Uh, if you're not already sub, hit that sub button. I mean, I, do you see the screen? I, I smell Hobie clapping. If Hobie, <laughs> if Hobie claps, you owe me a sub. That's a, that's a fair deal here, you know, you know uh, what I mean? Speaking of sub, dude, I forgot I was supposed to text my dad about what sub I wanted. I'll do that after the video. <laughs> no, 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 go ahead, dude. Take, take your time, bro. Wait. <laughs> I'll do it after the video. No, no, you're good, dude. <laughs> Okay, also All right. like the video. Well, I don't know why you like it before, but if you do, thank you. That, that actually helps us. Comment True. any other suggestions, and I guess, why don't we watch why they're not overrated? Because I sure as hell don't think they're overrated. Exactly. Let's just be proven why they aren't overrated. <laughs> okay, dude. All right, here we go. You ready? Oh, that's a sub. Oh, that's not a sub. Oh, that's a sub. We're good. Oh, that's a Whenever someone asks me what music I like or what artists I listen to, I being the army that I am, of course say BTS. <laughs> but every time I do, the response is almost always they're overrated. Have you ever actually heard that? No, I just see people that say, K-pop is trash. Yeah, like, yeah. dude, you're trash. Today I'm gonna show you how that is <laughs> definitely not the case. For this, we're gonna go through each member, starting off with the beautiful leader himself, RM. Before becoming part <laughs> of BTS, RM was already an underground rapper. He started rapping at 12 years old and when he was 14, he released an actual mixtape under his then stage name, Runge Ronda. This means that RM, the Kim Nam Joon, has been rapping since 2007. He's been rapping for 11 years and he's only 23 years old. He has <laughs> numerous pre-debut songs that he wrote himself and he could freestyle like no one's business before he even hit puberty. <laughs> <laughs> His rap skills impressed people so much that it caught the attention of Bang Sehayak aka the CEO of the then small company Big Hit and he was signed as the first this official member of actually. BTS in 2010. Yeah, really good. Adding on. This man taught himself English like what the hell. <laughs> he watched yeah. his friends and learned from the subtitles how the English language was structured. FYI, the Korean language structure is basically the opposite of English so the fact that he learned English by just watching a TV show amazes me. <laughs> then again he has an IQ of 148 so he can do anything lol. <laughs> yeah, he lol. helps produce literally every song BTS has just look up a random BTS song and his name is there. Like he has produced over 90 songs in total and I can't even make a proper bowl of cereal. <laughs> the next member, Sugar. Like RM, Sugar was an underground rapper as well. He was in a rapper group called D-Town and his stage name was Gloss. Now when what? I say this Gloss. man works I didn't hard, know that. he works hecking hard. He grew up with a passion for music and started writing lyrics <laughs> when he was only 11 years old. But he grew up dirt poor and his family didn't support his love of music and even threw away his lyrics. Aww. At 13, he started producing with the little equipment he had and tried selling his music on the streets but would get scammed. And because he was so poor, he'd have to choose between a bus ticket home or dinner, so he often skipped meals. One day he saw a poster to audition for Big Hit, auditioned, and made it as a trainee, but he still struggled. 
A story I'll never forget was when he was hit by a car, what? got his shoulder permanently damaged, Wait, did didn't tell this? anyone no. for a fear of being kicked out of Big Hit, and basically suffered through training with a broken shoulder. It's still damaged to this day and he can't do certain dance moves. What? He's such a hard worker and has helped produce numerous BTS songs as well but struggles with severe depression and anxiety. He talks about his disorders in his lyrics and tries to inspire others to keep fighting on. To be honest, I cried while editing this. But onto his rapping. <laughs> it's no joke. He's one of the fastest idle rappers oh, yeah. in the world and can rap 8.8 .8 syllables per second. Oh, <laughs> jam Jam J here. He can actually rap 11.4 syllables per second. <laughs> 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 third member, J-Hope. Yes. Iron and Sugar. J-Hope was an underground dancer. He grew up dancing before he could even breathe. He has participated in and won numerous dance competitions and performed with the underground dance crew Neuron. So yeah, dancing is in <laughs> Not many know but he also grew up with a love for singing as well. Before auditioning for Big Hit. He auditioned for JYP Entertainment but was rejected. Oh. I guess you could say he got gypped to her house. <laughs> <laughs> While still in school, Bro, that's great. he was asked to record a video of himself dancing for an audition. After the audition, though, he was caught still practicing three hours after the audition ended. Big Hit saw how dedicated he was and signed him on to become the third member of BTS. The third member. But there was a catch. J-Hope was originally supposed to be the main dancer and a vocalist but the company wanted him to be the main dancer and a rapper. Slight problem though, he couldn't hooking rap. <laughs> Being the dedicated person he was, he taught himself how to rap. That's he practiced insane. with the That's guidance crazy. of RM and Sugar, but practiced by himself for hours, and hours, and hours. <laughs> so, let me tell you, the boy can definitely rap now like holy heck. Yep. Oh, I love it. He also helps choreograph group dances for BTS and helps the other members practice. So to sum up this boy, he can dance, sing, and rap. The whole package. <laughs> yeah. and the next member, Jungkook. Before becoming the first vocalist in the lineup for BTS. Really? This kid was still a fetus. <laughs> he had a childhood for like two seconds before making career moves in music. He auditioned in Superstar K which is a talent competition for aspiring vocalists when he was 12 years old and immediately stood out. He was really shy and had the voice of a little angel. Literally. But his audition so was small. never aired and he was rejected. What? But immediately after, he received calls from eight different entertainment oh, companies yeah. wanting him and one of those companies was Big Hit. After hearing RM rap, he decided to join Big Hit and became a ah. trainee at 14 years old. Wow. Bang Si Hyuk said Jungkook had no emotion when he danced so he sent him to America to train and dance. What? He oh, practiced what? hard serious? for a solid year and finally returned to Korea with some new moves, going from this. <laughs> to this. Oh, wow. What a hard working boy. Holy he dude. practices singing <laughs> basically all the time and has numerous covers. He even recently started producing music for BTS and helped produce Magic Shop. Whoa, but Jungkook spoilers, was thrown into fame sick. early on in his life and usually fame can mess with a kid's head. But Jungkook has remained a happy, grateful, and humble person. On to the next member, Jin. Jin's story is different from the rest of the members because he started off with zero experience. He grew up not wanting to sing or dance but to be an actor. He was literally out existing in public when a big hit employee saw his golden existing visuals and automatically signed him. Lol, he you're was hired. just an actor for big hit but then Banksy Hayak was like nah I'ma put you in BTS. <laughs> Small problem. He couldn't sing or dance. At all. Jin <laughs> trained endlessly before debut working on his singing and dancing skills. He still occasionally gets backlash for starting out with zero experience. But he has improved an infinite amount. He yeah, is so dedicated literally. to his vocal training that his trainer even That's said that rather than improving his voice, he completely transformed it and was her best student. 
Like this man went from 0 to 100 because of all the hard work he That's has crazy. put into his training. He'd stay up past 3 am some nights just to practice and even made his own backing track for a song and added his vocals to make sure he sounded perfect. Like someone stop this man before he produces a whole album. But let me tell you, he now has a golden voice and is Yo. able to hit notes higher than IDK the sky. <laughs> yes. Oh, I got chills. <laughs> Alright, dude, we heard this. Plus, his hey, dancing has improved a ton. Have you yeah. seen how challenging BTS choreography is? Like, what the heck? I can't even walk in a straight line. <laughs> Next <laughs> member, V. <sighs> like boy. Sugar, V grew up very poor. Going from rags to being the number one most handsome man in the world. He literally grew up in a village and if he didn't debut, he said he would be a farmer right now. But early on in his childhood, he developed a love for music, singing, and dance which led him to eventually audition. On accident lol. For Big Hit. <laughs> what? He was the only I one in his hometown to make it past the audition, and he eventually became a trainee. He trained hard for three years. Going from well-rounded but mediocre into basically a superstar in everything he does. Yep. He can sing notes slower than my grades. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Plus, he has a powerful stage presence that literally makes you want to get up and go on stage with him. But oh wait, you can't because sadly this is just a YouTube video. <laughs> now for the last member, Jimin. Jimin had a normal childhood and grew up very happy. He didn't really know what he wanted to do in life until he started dance in middle school. He developed a passion for it and wanted to go to school for dance, but he didn't know how to pay for it. This boy was literally so dedicated and skilled in dance that his instructor didn't make him pay for school. Do you know what? how good you have wow. to be to have your instructor personally take care of your education fees like oh my that gosh. Is? His instructor even oh, told him to audition for Big Hit and you guessed it. He made it as a trainee. He only trained for a year which is a very short training period for a K-pop idol once again showing you how dedicated and skilled he is and even stayed up until 3am to practice while still going to school for dance. He eventually became the 7th and final member of BTS. But, for their first music video, Jimin became known for his appearance aka his abs. <laughs> <and he fell laughs> <in the laughs> This made him depressed and he started hating what? his looks. What he's wait, still what? very self-critical and gets down from time to time. Why? But wait, he's wait, 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 hold on, run that back. back. He's a very wait, hard wait, wait, worker wait, wait, wait. and is 100... Okay, let's see that again. Here we go. He eventually became the seventh and final member of BTS. But, for their first music video, Jimin became known for his appearance aka his abs, and he felt pressured to stay in shape. Oh, this so made him right. depressed and he started hating what? his looks. He's still very self-critical and gets down from That's time to time, bad. but he is doing so much better. He is a very hard worker and is 100% dedicated to what he does, working hard 24-7. Like yeah. his vocals send me to the grave. <laughs> he can't hit notes so high that I literally get chills. He works on his singing endlessly to make sure it sounds perfect when he performs. He hates messing up because he feels like he's cheated us when he does and he cares so much about giving us his best and oh my gosh I have so many feels for this boy. <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say is that BTS work their hecking butts off to be where they are and their hard work is very admirable. If you watched this whole video, thank you because I know it was long as heck. And don't forget. You nice, keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Dude, that was actually such a good dude. And, uh, I'm impressed. Is there an ending for it? No, I don't yeah. think so. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. We haven't really watched videos like this. And the last two videos have both been freaking like the same kind of style with like the same guy talking, right? It's kind of meme -y, kind of yeah, right. filled with information, but that was sick, dude. I learned so much.
They I came, know, me too. Came, I, they, I, yeah, this was like one of the most informative videos that we've actually watched. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, this, is, this was actually, I'm so happy we, we actually I know, this. I, this is great. I learned so much, like, about uh, Suga, his shoulder. Why did I say it like <laughs> Shiga sh shoulder man. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, end me please. <laughs> I feel like from this type of video we find so Army's uh, sense of humor as well. Oh yeah, for it's sure. It's like so meme and stuff. Oh, it's, it's, it's dude, like it is. so funny. Uh, bro, I love, I lo dude, I love the AI voice thing that they have. Yeah, that, I know. like text to speech. That's voice. amazing, though, dude. That was <laughs> That's good. so funny. Though. Holy uh, boy! Yeah, learned a lot. <laughs> Showed the haters what's up. <laughs> yeah, haters. If any of you haters are watching our videos, I hope you learned something. <laughs> yeah, which probably not. But you know, just in case. <laughs> yeah, just in uh, case you guys better have learned something. Yeah. Who would have yeah. thought, man? Before I even heard K-pop, I would have never even have known no, no, about no. the struggles of artists and idols and yeah, groups. And how and hard they work and everything. Right. Damn, dude. Yeah, they work yeah. a lot harder than any freaking American artist that we see. Yeah. Okay, that, that might be... <laughs> we, we might have to retract a bit of that statement, but there's definitely a lot. Like, yeah. We saw Cardi B win a Grammy. Not gonna say she didn't work hard for it, but... <laughs> she kind of didn't work as hard as BTS does, but anyways, you know, just just gonna throw that out there. Honestly, that's a big roast because not not a fan of Cardi B very much. Yeah, not the same. But yeah, you know what? It's okay. I'm enlightened though. Yeah, I kind of just want to hug I, all of them now. I know, dude. I didn't know that about Sugar. Like I, he dances yeah. so well, I would have never known that he can't do certain moves. Yeah, you know. And yeah, yeah. How Jin came from literally nothing. I, I thought like, I thought Jin. I, I knew we, we knew Jin went to like drama school and like he wanted to be an actor. Like we knew that. Yeah. But we didn't know he had zero zero yeah, experience. Yeah. Like he literally just came on. And got just like, okay, he, time to sing, time to learn how to yeah. sing and dance. And I didn't know Jungkook went to America to learn how to dance. Oh yeah, what that's heck, actually yeah, bro? that's wild. That's insane. Like, what's so what's so good in the U.S. for dancing though? I think they have good like, like good street, trainers kind like of stuff? street dancing and stuff like that. Oh, you know? okay, okay. Like hip hop and yeah, that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I guess. I like, right. yeah, makes sense. But what a good video. Yeah, honestly. that was actually. I'm... God haters, take that, <laughs> yeah. man, take that haters. Thank you, Jam Jam YT, for making the video. Jam Jam was... JYT, my guy. Sorry, I that was unnecessary. Guys, if... Yeah, thank you for the video. Guys, if you like this video, go give them a follow. Go give us a follow. Hit that like button. If you don't Slap think that like BTS button. is overrated, hit that like button. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not already subscribed, you know what to do. Yeah, that's subscribe, just, just, just to make sure you do that. <laughs> also, check out our Discord. Check out our fantastic community on Discord. You will love it. I personally... Guarantee it, dude. <laughs> Personally. Also, check out our social medias. Check out our Patreon if you want to support us more. Hit that ring ding, fling ling ding bell to see when we post. And you should check out our Twitch, and we will see you in the next one. Peace! <laughs>